guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're going to do a champion guide for Queen Ava. Now, I pulled Queen Ava a few weeks ago in a shard opening video, and a lot of you guys, you let me have it, rightfully so, in the comments. But you're like, dude, how do you not know she's the best campaign farmer in the game? Well, you know, I just didn't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, the fact of the matter is here is uh, what, I, what I do here on these champion guides and reviews is I only review and do guides on champions that I've actually played a while and I've taken the time to invest in and six star and max out and try everywhere in the game for a few weeks weeks before I do the guides because in, in in the good thing in that is I have a really good like awareness of how how really how good they are and I get time to try different gear on them and try different builds on them and give that advice to you guys now the downside is I might not know everything about every other champion in the game if I don't have them yet obviously the popular ones I know and I should have known Ava but anyway let's talk about Ava you can see today's video we're going to go over her masteries her artifacts where she's used how good she really is you can see the the reviews on her are pretty incredible uh 4.9 in spite Den campaign location is 4.9. Well, let's just go ahead and say it right away. She's the best campaign farmer in the game. I concur. Ash stamp of approval. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll show her in a second. Let's talk about her gear and her abilities first. But she's insane. I have her just, just, it, it's crazy. Anyway, uh, you guys will see that. And I want to talk about my experience with her in other areas of the game. Uh, I have maybe, I don't know, an unpopular opinion on her, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So, uh, Catarize. Uh, on the A1, attacks one enemy, 50% chance of placing 100% reduced uh, heal. Now, I have her booked up. You do not have to book up your Queen Eva. I probably wasted legendary books on her, honestly. I, the reason I booked her up is because I wanted to try her as my main nuker in the arena, and I have to say that she's great but I had better, right? And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, so it was kind of a waste of the books. You do not have to book her up. You don't have to have the cooldown anything on, on these abilities, and we'll talk about why. Uh, Ancient Curse on the A2 attacks one enemy two times. Enemies killed by this uh, skill cannot be revived, so it's pretty solid in Ice Golem. She's actually really uh, good in Ice Golem. Uh, on an Energy Drain, the ability that she's known for, this is the sick campaign farming ability, okay? Attacks all enemies, decreases the turn mirror by 20%, resets the cooldowns of each of this champion's skills if any target is killed. Has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. So that's insane. Even if it's not in the four turn cooldown, it does not matter because this will reset every time you kill an enemy. You're going to have it up every single turn and that's all you need, right? That's, that's, that's what makes her so special, okay? Her aura is increased crit rate in ba all battles by 19%. That does stack with the energy drain as well if you have her, obviously, uh, as the main aura. Uh, but I, I don't really know anybody who runs crit rate auras uh, anywhere in the game unless you have nothing else. Uh, let's talk about her masteries really quickly here. You definitely want to just go down to Flawless Execution, get that extra crit damage. It's all about doing as much damage as humanly possible to make sure you're killing something uh, to trigger that third ability on oh, again and again and again and again and again, okay? That's the, that's the whole... <laughs> That's the whole uh, strategy behind her, okay? And then defense, we're going to go to delay death. And then we're going to go right down the tree and go to Cycle of Vengeance. Has a 50% chance of increasing, increasing the turn meter by 15% when an ally is attacked with a critical hit. Uh, so that will help her going, obviously, especially if she's killing every time. You want her to go as quickly as possible, especially if talking like kind of arena right now. In campaign, it's a little bit, you guys will see how it goes. It's not going to, it's just, it's silly, right? Uh, but that would be what I recommend for you guys in terms of the offense and the defensive tree. So again, the reason we want to go down the defensive tree is because support, you know, a lot of accuracy it's good for debuffers she does have the 20 percent turn meter reduction on the a3 she also has the heal reduction on the a2 both of those even the turn meter is based on accuracy so it's nice to have a little accuracy on her but you don't have to prioritize it as highly as you would to like your main uh, attack down or defense down or debuffers on your team or your poison layers on the team okay uh in terms of stat priorities we're going to go ahead and go over to our artifacts here uh let's go ahead and look at my, look at my total stats before i show you guys the artifacts I want to get her attack as high as humanly possible, so 5,765 is pretty good. Uh, speed, I'm not concerned with, and you guys will see why. Crit rate, uh, you know, it, you could get by with 85% on, on Queen Ava because, again, her third ability has that extra 15% chance, but 100 is good too because it works with the A1, the A2. 
uh, crit damage. I would like this to be a little bit higher. Maybe I could even trade off a little bit of HP, a little bit of uh, defense, a uh, little bit of attack even to have that crit rate creep up closer to maybe 200% if I'm getting a little greedy. And then the accuracy, I actually have 266. I believe I have an accuracy set on her. I actually do. I have a cruel and an accuracy. Cruel's great because you can ignore the defense. And uh, accuracy, I decided to, I just had the gear anyway that had pretty good attack on it. And I was like, you know what? I want to make sure if I'm not killing killing an enemy at least it, for the arena at least I'm getting that turn meter reduction on that a3 and for ice golems I want that heal uh, reduction as well so that's kind of why I went with the accuracy set in terms of stat priorities we want attack percentage crit rate crit damage speed accuracy kind of in that order okay uh, so the gear that I have on her you, I'm just gonna let you guys take a look it's not the best gear that I own on the account but again if I could go with if, if you guys have it Go with like two or even three sets of Cruel. I think the Attack Plus and the Ignore Defense is really solid on her. But you guys can see Crit Rate, Crit Damage, Accuracy. Thank you very much. Crit Rate on the Gauntlets, Attack on the Chest, and Attack on the Boots. You can go Speed on the Boots if you want to, but I prefer going Attack on the Boots uh, with my main attacker. Uh, it works for campaign farming on Queen Ava uh, specifically, and it works fine in the arena because she's going to be going last in the arena, so it's okay if she's a little bit slower, especially if you have a turn meter up in your group which I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and try her out in the campaigns first. That's what you guys all want to see. Uh, at least that's where she's good, so you should want to see her there. Let's go ahead and take her into Brutal 3, 12-3, uh, excuse me, and we're going to put her all by herself there. She doesn't need Shamrock with her. All by herself, and you guys will see how fast she is. She's going to auto onto the A3. I don't have to do anything here. I just sit back and watch, right? <laughs> Look at it. Boom. Boom, and, well, what can I say? Seven seconds, <laughs> I mean, need I say more about Queen Ava, guys? Need I say more? Is that, I mean, want to watch it again? We can watch it again. Maybe we'll get six seconds. But I don't think we can get any faster than this. I think this is the fastest humanly possible. Boom, resets, boom, resets, boom, everybody's dead again. Well, that's what you call an incredibly fast campaign farmer. Just incredible. Now, she can't do that in Nightmare. I mean, I'm, I'm sure most of you guys are aware of that. She she struggles killing uh, troops in Nightmare. So let's just go ahead and put her with like a random team here. Uh, let's go with getting a... Uh, uh, no, we already have the attack up. Put there and put like, yeah, just kind of put a random team in there. So we'll put her with a team here in Nightmare, and you'll see that she's, you know, she's still hitting hard and stuff. We have the defense down, and she's going to kill two, so she'll have her ability back up for the next wave. She's still good. She just can't solo anything. She's, you know, she killed everybody. Okay, see, she didn't kill anybody on her A3 that time. That was her A3 because she pre, uh, she re procked it on the, uh, the first battle by killing two enemies. But again here, we're moving along. But like what like I was saying here is it's just not I mean you're this is not where you're farming anyway so it's cool right uh, you want to be farming on brutal in case you miss my silver guide uh, brutal stage twelve three is actually better silver for your energy than nightmare stage twelve three so the best stage in the entire game to farm is brutal stage twelve three if you care about energy uh, efficiency. So, again here, she's dead now, actually. So, like I said, I mean, I want to be honest on these champion reviews, too. She's awesome, but uh, you don't really want to take her into... We'll win here, but it's not pretty, it's not fast, either. You don't want to really take her into Nightmare, uh, or you can with the right team around her, but she's a speed farmer for Brutal, which is where you should be farming anyway. So, uh, that's going to be that. There it goes. Let's go ahead and try her out in the arena, guys. And you guys will see. Now, as I was alluding to earlier... I actually don't, uh, it's not that I don't love her in Arena. She's great in Arena as your nuker. I actually prefer a champion like Skullcrown to her, though, in the Arena. Uh, just my personal preference, because with Skullcrown, she has two great AoEs. She has the unkillable, and she's an epic, so she's a little bit, she's void, but she's a little bit easier to get. Uh, maybe that she's not even, I don't know, maybe she's not even easier to get, you know, like a, a void epic versus a, a legendary non-void. Uh, either way, I prefer somebody like Skullcrown, or or I have Biggin too, so I don't need her in Arena, uh, but she's still good if you don't have another nuker at, on your entire team, right? So let's go ahead and just choose some teams here. I'm going to take out Biggin and put her in instead. 
Uh, again, just kind of a speed comp here, and you guys will see that she hits hard, but it's just, it, it's not as important, right, as if we were uh, in, in campaign, because we still have to wait till she gets another turn, even if she has her ability uh, back. It's just not as helpful, right? We're going to put everybody to sleep here, just so we can make sure we go next. Maybe we can land a stun or two here. Oh, look at that. She can't even get a chance to go, because I think we're going to have to actually take out uh, Trunda, because she's too good. <laughs> She'll never get... Yeah, I'm going to have to take her out. Uh, we'll do another one here. I just want to see how much she hits, basically. It's not really a, a much of a showcase here. This is going to be a tough, a more difficult team, so I'm going to leave the same team in here and just see how we do. Dude, Rotos, the Lost Groom, is insane in Arena. I'm sure you guys have seen him. If you haven't, well, that's really good because he's... This whole team is so scary that we're going against here. Like, yeah, super scared. We will go next, so what I want to do... And I'll take the shields off. Alright, let's see if we can land some stuns here. And now, you're up. You're okay, here she goes. Everybody's alive, so she's going to definitely kill that uh, Venus there. She kills two. Uh, I didn't, I'm didn't. i embarrassed to say, I didn't even see how much she hit for there. Uh, did you guys? You guys can rewind, I can't. But she was pretty solid. Let's see the damage output. So she put out uh, like 60k total, 59k. Trunda on, I'm not sure if she had two hits, but she put out a lot more. And again, I like Trunda too, better as a nuker, but she's sufficient. I, I apologize, we're maybe not seeing the best. Let's refresh and see if there's an easier team, like a really easy team, something like this. And then I'll take out, I'll like put her as my only damage dealer. There we go. So we can just see her kind of soloing. Uh, in terms of dragons, in terms of waves and stuff, she's good, but again, she's... I feel like there are a lot better nukers out there, but it depends, as with everything in this game, it just depends on who you have, you know? Uh, so let's go ahead and... This is kind of a weird team to run with her anyway, because Kaimar can reset abilities, but you don't need the reset abilities on your Ava because she can do it herself, right? Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so here, let's see how... Let's just... I'm, I'm, okay, yeah, let's just see if she can kill them all. Boom. So 53k, 74k, I saw those. Granted, she did have attack up and they had a, a defense down. So she's hitting hard. Just and she has her ability back up again. She'll use it again right here and finish off this battle. So guys, she's solid again. I just don't think she's like SS tier nuker, you know, uh, or even maybe S tier nuker inside arena. But again, like I can't keep saying it enough that it depends on what champions you have. Not everybody pulls every champion in this game, you know. Sometimes you're lucky and you have like a really solid nuker. Sometimes you don't, and she can totally suffice in that role for your team. Let's go ahead and end things on Ice Golem. Where again, Ice Golem, she's she's solid uh, for sure with the heal reduction. I'm gonna put her in here for I guess I'll put her in for Nethril. Uh, da, 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 right there, and we'll see how she does. It's been a while since I've ran. Uh, I only ran her like a couple times in Ice Golem, so this will actually be kind of cool to watch with you guys. So uh, that was her first uh, A3 ability right there, and I wasn't seeing how much it hit for, but she didn't kill anybody. So again, she's never on Ice Golem 20. And again, I should mention this, right? Is that on Dragons like 15, on Spider, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, why aren't you trying her in Spider? Because she's not really fit for Spider's 20, at least with what I'm trying to do. Spider's 20 is all about not killing the Spiderlings, and she's all about killing them to proc additional turns. But Spider's 20, you know, especially with HP burn, which I run, I want to keep these Spiderlings alive and stunned and putting out more damage onto the spider, right? So that's how I approach that in turn meter manipulation. Decreasing the spider's turn meter is huge too. She doesn't, she does that by 20%, but it's just not that much, can, you know, compared to like a Nethril or a, a Cold Heart. So for the main strategies that are used in Spider's 20, she's not as good as one would think to justify that 4.9 re review. Of course, the 4.9 review is because she's amazing and Spider up to like Spider 17, 16 or 17, I would say. She's fantastic. Perfect. 
and that's where probably a lot of you guys are in the game so i'm not trying to knock her just trying to tell you why i'm not using her in spider and if you are at spiders 18 19 20 you might want to keep that in mind before you max her out just to put her on your spider team right uh at least that's my feedback on her i tried her in on my spider team we lost every time uh so here we go she, she didn't land a killing blow there but has the uh but the team's looking pretty you know pretty robust here i've said this in like every single one of my videos lately so i apologize for continuing to say it but man shamrock the new shamrock i just think he's so good i really do he's one of my faves and he's made it into my main team like i didn't you know how it is sometimes when you get a new champion you can kind of force them into a team because you're so excited about the champion any of you guys do that too i do i'm just like ah you know, like Queen Eva was one of them. Like, I'm going to run her in spiders. I'm going to run her like everywhere, you know? And it's not that she's awful, but getting back to, but Shamrock, Shamrock, dude, like every team I put him in, kind of like Apothecary, right? Every team you put Apothecary in, every team you put Shamrock in, I just feel like it does better aside from Clan Boss. But like, I feel like the speed increase, the heals, I just feel like his kit is so versatile. I just love Lucky Charm's ability on him now, and there it goes. It's just, I think it's insane. So this isn't going to be a super fast run on Ice Golem 20. I got the revive block, so we did kill that uh, that right guard there. So that was helpful as well. Like I said, it's not going to be a super fast run, but it's not going to be terrible either. It's probably going to be 3 minutes and 30 seconds, unless we can get a, a big hit from Royal Guard here. Uh, we will see. But it's 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 looking pretty good. We got a lot of there's the energy drain. Didn't kill though. Heal reductions down. Ah, we lost Ava. A little squishy. And again, I have an attack chest on her too, so keep that in mind. You can go deep if you just want to use her in dungeons. You can go defense, but it's gonna hurt you in campaigns. So 316, actually not a bad time. Not a bad time. When I look at my best time, it's not even that 30 second, 31 seconds below. So in terms of her damage output, 763,000. But look at like less damage than bad l way less damage than trunda uh and way less damage than royal guard as well so even as your big time nuker in that spot she's more there to serve the role of uh of the heal reduction and of making sure that the uh, the guard stay dead right so there you go guys this is my my guide on queen eva or ava i've probably said it both ways throughout this video <laughs> but uh i appreciate you guys watching i hope you enjoyed this guy congratulations if you have her she is like we like, let's let's not focus on the negative let's focus on the positive she's an insane campaign farmer guys thank you so much for watching if you like this content be sure to subscribe i appreciate you guys and as always take care guys